Today on the bench we have the FNB48S, a meter made by Fnersi. I've been using this tool for quite some time now, but I think we've reached the end of the road. It doesn't turn on anymore. It's also overheating when we try to feed some power into it. It's a bit difficult to show, but all of these components are heating up, and all of them cannot be faulty. How did it happen? Repairing a laptop motherboard, plug in the meter, 5 volts. Hmm, maybe let me try on a different laptop. Try on a different one, 19 volts, everything is charging. Hmm, let me put back in the Huawei one, and now Fnirsi shit the bed and I have to clean it. You're thinking, ah, oh, yeah, that sucks, well it broke, I guess you can fix it. You can just use that hot air station of yours, remove the chip, put in the new one, and the... Uh... I can't, because I can't find this chip. And they need a meter fast. After removing this chip, everything started to semi-work, but it didn't work. Error code 06, what does that even mean? You're supposed to tell me, that's why I have you. No, 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 seriously, seriously, listen. Uh, I'm breaking up with you. I can't do this anymore. Now this is basically a donor board. I can take out the two USB-C's, some USB port, eh, a little bit of a diode capacitor, and that's all it's good for now because there is no chip that I can find. It's time for the new cowboy in town to show up. Cheaper, brighter, something that looks like a final product. Whoops, I already took it apart. Here we have the UT658. We have the numbers on the chips. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, huh? Just look at those wires, 6 for USB-C, 4 for USB-A, simple, simple. Just a beautiful, simple design. Don't touch it. You know, maybe I'm getting old. I just want those bigger numbers. I can't one is just tiny, but this one, look at it. Just beautiful, simple, with its own flaws. Why did you have to make the input with the short cables, not the output? Nah bro, Unitrend, we grow together. In the next video sometime this decade, I'm gonna try to make a USB-C coupler. Subscribe to not miss out.